Hey folks, how's it going? So, this is day number two, and it's pretty late in the day. It's actually four o'clock in the afternoon. I've kind of had a lazy day. The uh, the winds from yesterday have kept up. They were, you know, 40 kilometers an hour or so yesterday. That's what was going on today, so I didn't want to go out too much today. I had enough other stuff to do. I'm kind of stuffed up, sorry for the sound. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I piddled around with my other GoPro and the SD card is having an issue, so I got to get a new SD card. And I went into town to look for one, couldn't find one. Um, I piddled around with my motor a little bit too, and I'm still having a starter issue. So, anyways, I'll just be doing that tonight. But I want to get out and fish some spots kind of nearby where I'm staying tonight, hopefully, get into another fish. Um, where I caught the bigger one last night was just over here, so not too far away. I can use a kicker if I have to. But. I thought I'd show you the baits I was using yesterday, um, the baits that were seeming to get it done for me. So this is a Medusa, this is a mid-sized Medusa. They make bigger ones and they make a couple smaller ones too, but just a very simple black orange mid-sized Medusa. This Bulldog, color is Lake of the Woods Perch. And uh, this is a shallow Bulldog, so it's a little different to fish, I'm still getting used to it, but. It wasn't going so good on a fluorocarbon leader, so I switched it to a wire leader. The uh, fluorocarbon leader seemed to be getting fouled up in the front hook, so anyways, I switched to a wire leader, and uh, this caught me fish yesterday and got me a good follow, so I'll have that again tonight. So, I have a bucktail on my other rod, and uh, I've been hearing the guys are catching them on bucktails, so we'll uh, we'll throw that around and see what happens. So, come along with me. This should be a fun little adventure tonight. See ya. See, it's just windy as ever again, but I'm not going too far from the cottage. Just fish these spots nearby, see what happens. I'll use the wind to my advantage, <laughs> use it for a good drift. Get a life wind, seriously. Oh, I should do a review on these rods sometime because they're awesome. Tackle them for you, musky rods, people. Spin das boot around. You guys have never fished with nine foot rods, you're really missing out. They make casting just so effortless. They really load up the bait well. You think, oh, it'd be hard to cast a, you know, 14 ounce bait, which this one's not. But really, when you get the casting motion down on a big rod, whoo! <laughs> so much chop, it's crazy. Once you get the casting motion down, it's not that bad. It does a lot of the work for you, the rod does. Oh, it'd be nice to get around this point here. We're recording. Jazz. One thing I'll talk about is... Uh, might as well talk because I've not seen any fish so far. I've only casted this one line, but if you cast an area, even a confidence area where you've caught fish before, 
a certain bait. Well, there's boulders here, cool. Um, don't get stuck on throwing one particular bait. Throw the bait that's suitable for the situation. And if you don't see a fish, it doesn't mean they're not there, and it doesn't mean that you're throwing the wrong bait either. A lot of the times with musky fishing, they're just inactive and they don't want to feed. So don't worry about changing your baits all the time. You could probably come back and fish this, you know, the same area again a couple hours later, throwing an identical bait and the fish might just grab it. Try this little calm section. See if there's one just hanging out, trying to get a break from the current waves. There's geese over there, a family of them. I suppose if a muskie was hungry enough, he could just grab one of those. On? Good. Well, I lied, guys. I decided to go through the 894 mile an hour winds and 64 foot waves. Let's come out here and fish where I was yesterday. I knew them. Um, once I got over here, it wouldn't be so bad, but it took a while to get over. I just took it really slow. Little wind and waves, eh, whatever. Look what I got, guys. Little musky. Not too big. But still, It's a fish, so that's good. I figured there'd be something around because it's evening. I saw a couple fish here yesterday. The winds died off. Yeah, so I'm glad I made the trek out here. Okay. <laughs> Little guy about like what I got last night, uh, the first one, maybe 30 something inches. I don't know. Anyways, there he is. <laughs> 33 inches. See 33 inches. I'm not exactly getting size on this trip so far, but that's okay. I am certainly not complaining. More than likely, that's one of the fish I saw follow yesterday. Ah. I try to, I, I've tried to get a little better footage anyways, even though it wasn't a big fish. I'm down to the one GoPro, so hopefully everything worked out and you can see it okay. And I'd like to try and get another one before the night's out. Oh, it's so nice being out of the wind over here. I can smell somebody barbecuing and it's driving me nuts. Oh, it smells so good. May have to fire up the grill tonight myself.
Oh yeah, guys, decent fish. Look at the head shakes. Wow, oh, that's a good fish, guys. Yeah, baby. Yes. Oh, that's a good one, guys. Look at that. I think that's going to be my biggest of the trip so far. Awesome fish. Okay, guys. I'm going to get this guy unhooked. We'll have a look at him. Violent head shakes. I hope you guys saw that. Um, he was hooked better than what I thought. Actually, I had to cut one of the hooks out of him. I was worried he was going to come unglued. But I uh, just had a feeling about this spot. It's kind of an old faithful. Um, that fish was up a bit shallower than what I've caught fish before, but it is the time of year. So I got time to do another pass over this and see if I can't make this a three musky day. That would be awesome. Anyways, that fish was awesome. That was so much fun. It took a while to revive them. It always does, so you just have to take so much time and be so careful with these fish. I'm sure they swim off okay. I took probably, I don't know, two or three minutes of just holding them at the side of the boat to make sure he, he kicked okay and swam off. So that's always the number one thing. Anyways, let's see if I can get another one. Well, this may be it for my fishing day because... Uh oh. Well, I guess I'm using the kicker to get back. I think I've got, I don't know, three or four clicks to go. At least the wind's gonna help me out. <laughs> but, anyways, I got two fish and. I'm not too far and the wind's in my favor and I got a kicker, so everything's okay. We'll see you back at the cottage. Well, back at the cottage, it was a good day. It was only a few hours out on the water, but yet it was a good day. It was fun. Uh, I'm so happy the winds died down later because, yeah, it was just nice to be out there in calm water again, finally. Anyways, uh, before I share my final thoughts with you, seeing as I'm in the area, I should have a Bob Cajun brew. This is a hazy IPA. I sort of thought I would do this in some of my videos because I love fishing so much, but I also love Ontario craft brews, especially IPAs. Cheers. Oh, fruity. Citrus. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Really, really nice. Clean. Mm. Clean and smooth. Wow, very nice. Anyways, we'll discuss how today went. Uh, so earlier in the day, it was about, you know, 30 to 40 kilometer an hour wind, something like that. So I didn't get out till 4 o'clock. I had lots of other stuff I was messing around with. And uh, so when I finally did go out, I fished a couple spots, the same uh, spots that I fished last night and caught the bigger uh, fish, the 40 and a half, but didn't see anything there. So I moved, uh, I decided to take a chance and go out into the wind and the waves and I finally got out there and uh, yeah, and it paid off. So the little, the little fish actually, it's funny, like you, you work along a weed line and you're always casting into it, into it, into it. I decided just to turn around and cast the other way and sure enough that's I did one cast over there and he bit as soon as it landed so and I mean a small fish but um, so much fun to catch anyways and then uh, the bigger one came uh, 
uh, off of a shoal. It was sitting in probably only seven or eight feet of water at the most. Um, and it, it goes down really deep on both sides. So I, uh, I had a feeling there'd be something up there, especially when the wind had calmed down the way that it had. Um, when it was wavy and crazy like it was before, the wind just rips, or the water just rips through there. And uh, it's, it's not as likely to see fish sitting on a spot like that. Excuse me. So, anyways, that's how both those fish kind of happened tonight. I gotta have another sip of this because it's lovely. Mm. Wow, Bob Cage has some good brews. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely glad that I decided to go out. I only stayed out for a total of, uh, you know, two, two hours or three hours, maybe at the most. Uh, oh, and I, uh, I had the kicker going to get back, and uh, I kind of set it on throttle it to just keep going itself, and then I kept trying to, to start my motor, and I finally got it going. So I was able to use my main motor to get back and didn't have to use the kicker, because it would have been, been probably an hour, hour, yeah, an hour or so run back. So, name of the game again today was plastics. The Medusa and the Bulldog. Uh, it was both fish on the Medusa actually tonight. So, I'm just, I threw the bucktail around quite a bit, even a small bucktail, and I tried varying speeds. I didn't see any fish on it. Uh, so, I, the water temps being 59, 60, it's, to me, it's still really low. I'm not a big fan of throwing blades when it's, when water's that cold. Uh, I'd, I'd say if tomorrow if the temperature increases and you know the water temps go up a couple of degrees sure I'd, I'd throw a bucktail around but this low a temperature I'm more keen to uh, throw the plastics around oh. possibly tomorrow might go on an adventure to the other end of the lake uh, because of this motor issue I don't want to I don't want to start here and drive all the way to the other end because if I have to use my kicker to get back that's it's about 15 clicks, so yeah, it's too far to go. So I think I'm going to trailer over there tomorrow, and I'll fish that whole side. And uh, yeah, I know there's fish being caught over there, so I'd like to go check it out. And I haven't fished over there in a couple of years, so we'll uh, we'll go for that adventure hopefully tomorrow if all goes well. But as of right now, I'm going to say good night. Cheers to you. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get another fish, or two, or maybe zero, I don't know. But uh, two for two today, two for two yesterday. They're not huge fish, but they're a blast to catch. So anyways, thanks so much for tuning in again, and join me for the next adventure. See you later.